Hi everyone, my name is Sydney Daniel and I am the Students First Duo Student Co-Vice President. Thank you for joining Lincoln Park Academy's Gold Fest 2022 premiere. All videos this year were submitted by LPA students as they demonstrated their talents and creativity. Throughout this premiere, each video will be showcased and introduced by me or Tyler Daniel, the Students First Duo Student President. Without further ado, our first video submission is from 7th grader Maria Nalaska. Thank you, Maria, for sharing the importance of the global goals with us and how they relate to our world. Our next submission is from 9th grader, Javaya Septembre. Javea is correct that not all hope is lost. By following the global goals, such as Global Goal 14, like the low water, we can protect our oceans and environments to create a more sustainable planet. The next submission comes from ninth grader Samuel McCoy Jr.
The message you shared about equality was truly inspiring. Upholding the principles of Global Goal 5, gender equality, is important to achieve the world we want. Next is a submission from 12th grader Gerardo Diaz. The statistics mentioned by your video emphasize how essential it is to have access to affordable and clean energy. Our next submission is from 6th grader Geminisha Stiftombre. <laughs> Including examples of gender inequality and your personal beliefs to combat the issue was a great addition to your entry. After much deliberation, the next three submissions were selected as the top three entries by this year's judges. Placing in third and the winner of a $100 Apple gift card is 10th grader Jemaya Pichemper. On the streets, we see them weep, a helpless person on their feet. A world they no longer wish to be a part of, a world in which they starve. The money in our pockets, the hunger they bestow, the warmth of our beds, the suffering in the unforgiving snow. The sun that constantly pierces their skin, the sadness deep within, the inability to survive, the inability to thrive, the lack of love and a home, lack of money and of stone, the need of a helping hand. We see them, we hear them, and yet we do not care. If we know they are there, why don't we share? Even people with a place to sleep may become a subject to despair. The loss of a job with the current pandemic 
may put us in poverty as well, as our so-called streets of gold become our living hell. Thank you for that beautiful poem, Jemaya, and shining a light on Global Goal 1, No Poverty. Coming in second place and the recipient of Apple AirPods is ninth grader Chase Wu. Hey, little boy. Trying to spell I made. It'll make you feel real good. But mommy said to never take things from strangers. Take the sad truth is that a lot of people would actually love to be in this position. You see, this pill is actually a vitamin A capsule. 200 million people every year are reported to have a vitamin A deficiency. Because of that, an average of 400,000 people go blind and around half of that will later die. Symptoms included are not limited to inflamed skin, blindness, infertility, delayed growth, respiratory infections, and then after all that pain, death. Take me! But no worries, this problem has an easy solution. All it takes is a vitamin A capsule every two weeks to prevent deficiency. Capsules are only 10 cents to make and about a dollar to transport, and they don't need refrigeration. It's the cheapest way to save a human life. Although, it's a bit cruel to think we can just slap a price tag on human lives. So, little Jimmy can sleep easy now, now knowing that the pill he ate was good for him, and definitely not hard drugs. Whoa! This air tastes like colors. Also, how do you know my name? Shut up, Jimmy. I know where you live. What? I created you. Anyway, that's one small speck of the spectrum when it comes to health and wellness. Health and wellness can also be knowledge you didn't know. Think of that friend or classmate that wore glasses. Did you know that there's a good chance that the reason why they're wearing glasses is because he or she didn't get enough sunlight when they were growing? Recent studies prove that the leading reason why kids start wearing glasses is because their eyes aren't exposed to enough sunlight. Your eyes will continue to grow until the ripe age of six where your eyes are the perfect shape. A hormone is then produced to make the eyes stop growing, but when a kid isn't exposed to enough sunlight, they won't produce that hormone, in which their eyes will continue to grow, causing slight or severe blindness. So, staring at the screen for too long isn't what causes bad eyesight. That means I can stare at the screen for eight hours and there won't be any negative consequences. Isn't that right, Mom? That is rise sun. COVID has also affected us. As you know, entire countries have shut down, economies are collapsing, and many people are dying. Even before the pandemic, reports shown that the U.S.'s life expectancies were dropping even when medical technology has been its most advanced. Our restriction to basic health care, obesity, insufficient drug oversight, and disease are to blame. In light of all this, I want you to know that health and wellness is everywhere. They come in many forms, and promoting it isn't limited to having a doctor or how much hand sanitizer you can gulp down. It's about educating people and working together to find solutions. If we can do that, we can concentrate on advancement and creating new things, like flying cars, artificial intelligence, a genetically modified banana without that brown part at the end that your mom says is perfectly fine to eat, but you still don't. Chase, your animation was incredible and showcased one of the many aspects that Global Goal Number 3, Good Health and Well-Being, focuses on. The first place winner and recipient of an Apple Watch is 7th grader Ariana John. If you live in Florida, chances are you've gone to the beach before. A common pastime for many beachgoers is to fish. Whether or not you catch the fish or buy it, it is very likely you've eaten seafood before. Fish is the healthiest type of meat, which contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are good for basically everything, which includes building your body, maintaining your body, and they're a good energy source that help keep your heart, lungs, blood vessels, and immune system working the way they should. But fish come along with an assortment of complications, such as them dying due to pollution and global warming. But you might ask, why does global warming kill fish if the temperature only rises a few degrees? Polyps, which are the small animals that make up coral reefs, are very susceptible to change in temperature. The coral reefs are where fish eat, reproduce, and live. Because of coral reefs dying, tropical fish populations have seen a decrease. 
Other fish, such as tuna, are usually caught by deep sea trawling. That is essentially a large net that can span up to 450 feet or one and a half football fields, which picks up everything in its path, including dolphins, sharks, turtles, and even whales. Thousands of fish are crushed by the nets and aren't even eaten. The fish that do make it through have to worry about pollution. Man-made pollution, which includes chemical waste and plastic waste, kills around 1 million fish per year. It is estimated that by 2050 there will be more plastic waste in the ocean than fish. The fish that are caught by humans usually have plastic in them. We eat the fish and we eat the plastic inside of them. You may not feel like it, but according to the analysis, no plastic in nature, assessing plastic ingestion from nature to people, prepared by Dahlberg, based on a study commissioned by WWF and carried out by the University of Newcastle, Australia, we eat about a credits card worth of plastic every week. This all sounds terrible, but that's why the United Nations is trying to do something to combat this. Sustainable Development Goals 14, Life Below Water, would hope to reduce marine pollution and overfishing. Sustainable Development Goal 13 would hope to stop global warming. To learn more about events and actions you can take, visit sdgs.un.org. Presentation on the devastating effects of climate change and the global efforts of Global Goal 13 to address and minimize the damage was articulated very well. Congratulations to all of our prize winners and all of those who participated in Goal Fest 2022. You all should be proud of yourselves and the amazing entries you produced. A special thanks goes out to our sponsors, Rika Mancini and Ocean Chiropractic and Health Center. Club sponsor and educator, Ms. Laura LaShawn and the Lincoln Park Academy Administration. Without your assistance and support, this event would not be possible. Thank you for tuning into Goldfish 2022, and we look forward to another year of wonderful submissions.